This is the future of electronics, the ability to make a deadly accurate contour map of any water body, whether it's a tiny little private lake, a giant uncharted Canadian shield lake like this one, or just getting minute details on a lake that's already charted, but not necessarily as accurate as this does right here. So all the fish finder companies basically are competing for this technology right now of making your own maps. And the only brand that allows you to do it live while you're in the boat on your fish finder is Humminbird. So last night when I came out here, I made this map. And what's important to note is that I was just scouting this spot, deciding where to fish when I made this map. I wasn't trying to make a map. It was making it automatically while I fished. You can see these are S turns as I'm driving the reef. And in the meantime, it made this very cool depth map. You can see there's dark blue, that's very deep water, red's the top of the reef here. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spend 30, maybe 40 minutes filling this whole screen in and making a very accurate depth map. Okay, that took longer than it needed to, but we have a perfect map in result. I'm not into spending this much time to making a map and that's why the live function of being able to make a map while you're fishing on the fly is way more functional for me. Anyways, I'm gonna set up now where I saw the most fish marked. I'm gonna try using a Bondi bait, which is a giant jigging bait and perhaps it'll strum up some interest from a big fish here. I'm losing light fast. 28, 27, see there, there they are. Right there. Oh yeah, baby! Oh, oh, oh! Need that fish. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. The other part of the backstory to this is that I marked all these fish on the edge here after driving the reef. And one would assume that whenever you mark tons of fish that it's gonna be bait fish or white fish or ciscos or something. And I put the camera down and it was, it blew my mind. There was lake trout, lake trout, lake trout, lake trout. Giant school of lake trout. I thought there were panfish down there. There were so many of them, unlike anything I'd ever seen before. And what that did is it confirmed to me that that wasn't bait with the odd lake trout mixed in. It was all lake trout. And after seeing that, then you know, okay, these are for sure lake trout, I don't need to move. These fish are all sitting here staging, waiting to go up onto the top of the reef where all that red is and do the dirty in a couple weeks. I'm back trolling here, kind of marching down this edge. I need to come across active fish because obviously the ones I'm over top of aren't super into it. And I'm holding in that 21 to 24 foot range. We've got the photo period changing rapidly here because the sun's set. This is our opportunity to get a fish to change its mood. These fish that are pre-spawn and maybe in kind of a null mood. Oh, that was my chance. That was my chance. The other one wasn't my chance. That one was my chance. Come on, eat it again. Eat it again. Still looking at me, maybe. See him there? That's my bait falling down to him. Easy game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be big, be big, be big, be big. Freaking rights, freaking rights. I don't think it's big. No, it's small. Oh, tried to flip them in. And he got off, okay. Whew. That might seem lame, but uh, that's a sign. Okay, even though it was a little fish, I should probably have taken off this bait by now, but the thing about the Bondi bait is it's such a giant, ridiculous bait. Here's another one here that it's going to bring out the bigger fish. So I'm going to stick with it for one big bite, hopefully. Don't let the sun go down on me. Keep fishing for a lake trout, for a lake trout, for a lake trout, for a lake trout. Did it. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, 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 it's big, it's big. It thumped it on the upswing there. This is why we're fishing still in the dark. I'm gonna get one on the Bondi. I got a free spool a bit here to let him take it because he is freaking pulling. 
it felt small at the start, but now it is just hauling. Jeez. I don't have a headlamp out or anything. This is gonna be gnarly. Northern Manitoba, baby. There's a lot of amazing fly-in lodges in Northern Manitoba, but you can drive to great fishing as well. I'm not on Kississing right now, but Kississing Lake is my all-time favorite. Freaking lake. What do I do here? I gotta get better lights going. It's boat side thrashing here. Oh my goodness, it's big. It's not as big as the one from last night, but it's big. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Come on. Uh, whole thing here. We're targeting a big fish. And it's gonna be a little slower. But now we've got one. Come on. Oh! oh. Look out! Woo! Let's check her out. Where's my headlamp? Nice big light trout. Freaking right. I was wondering if we're gonna get one in the dark. Okay, right there. Oh yeah. That is a nice lake trout. Bonnie date in the mouth there. He took that deep. Okay. And look at this amazing lake trout. That is just gorgeous. Put him right back in the water here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Look at that thing. There she goes. Amazing.